Hi everyone, this video is a simple tutorial on 16x2 LCD display interfacing with 8086. It was a lab assignment, I searched it on Google and YouTube, but I didn't find any tutorials, so I decided to upload my project. Um, uh, to see the demonstration of interfacing, we need two things. Number one uh, is the circuit file for simulation and number two is the code that will be executed uh, in our uh, 8086. Uh, so at first we have to build the interfacing circuit of 8086 uh, because it hasn't uh, any its internal uh, RAM or uh, any IO port. So this is the IO port and uh, maybe this is the RAM. No, that's not the RAM. Uh, so you, you, need not, you need not to worry about the circuit because I have uh, uh, provided the link to this uh, uh, circuit in my description. Uh, also the code is provided in the link. Mm, so just download the circuit and open it in Proteus 8. Everything is connected. Uh, now let's go to the circuit. Uh, before going to the circuit, uh, just this is port A, this is port B, this is port C. I have uh, used all the ports in uh, output mode uh, port a goes to the data pins of lcd uh, the uh, LSB, uh, three lsb of port b goes to enable read write and rs pin of the lcd display and the port c i have uh, the port c i have used uh, the port c for uh, debugging purpose that is uh, in which line our uh, 8086 is there. I, I have just uh, executed few codes uh, for debugging that uh, now our 8086 is at this part of this code. So port C is not important. Now let's see the code. To execute uh, the program at first we have to compile our code. Uh, as a comp uh, uh, we have to assemble our code. As an assembler, I have used emulator. You can use any assembler you like. So at first, uh, if you are using emulator, go to assembler, comp compile, and compile it in the place where you have saved your this schematic file. Uh, I have saved it in sharing. Now open the circuit file and choose the executable file that was created by emulator. Okay. Most importantly, uh, use the clock frequency 1 megahertz. It will be there in the circuit. Now if I run the simulation. These are two simple strings I have uh, written to be printed on the LCD. Now let's see the code. Uh, the, this is our data segment, port A val, port B val, port C val are three variables I have used to keep track of the current values of the port. Uh, my str, my str1 and str2 are two strings that will be printed in the LC, on the LCD. Uh, these are two macros that's a diff, uh, that will be used as port addresses. And here is our code segment. At first, we have set the segment registers, then defined the I/O ports. PC, PCW. This macro uh, is used to set the, to program the I/O ports. Then this value one and seven zeros in obviously binary is used to make all the ports output. Then we have set this output using our out command. Then we have initialized our LCD, uh, set the cursor to 1-1 one, one position, that means first row, first column, then printed A, B, C, D using LCD right car, then set the cursor in the second row, first column, printed the first string, this is the delay loop, uh, the value of 6 controls the delay, then cleared our LCD set cursor print the string one set cursor to the second row print the string two 
Now all these um, uh, procedures are well defined in the in this section. This is the delay uh, where the value of CX controls the uh, duration of the delay. This is LCD initialize and this is LCD, LCD execute command, LCD clear, LCD write character, LCD print string, LCD set cursor, LCD show cursor, LCD hide cursor and here are the three procedures which sets the output to the output port and stores them on the corresponding variable. This is important because uh, we don't know the we cannot read the values from the IO port or it's difficult because it's uh, you have to go through the hardware operation. Uh, so I have used a value that will uh, I have used a variable that will hold the value to be written to the port uh, which is used uh, in our programming in our code. Uh, it's easier to track. And here's the end. Uh, let's see some let we we want to print another string s s t r three defined by demo string and obviously the last character should be a dollar sign because I have defined the print string to look for the dollar sign to break the operation that means ending the printing operation now let's assemble it oh I haven't printed Let's clear the LCD. Call LCD clear. Then move DL one. That means row one. Move DH one. That means column one. Call LCD set car then lea si what's the name stf3 3 then call lcd print str See, it works uh, now uh, the the code is well documented I guess you'll uh, you'll find it easy to understand the code uh, all the input output parameters have been defined in the at the top of the procedure declaration for example uh, LCD print str input SI should uh, contain the string address string should end with a dollar sign there is no output uh, in case of uh, set cursor why set cursor yeah dl represents row dh represents column dl1 means upper row dl2 means the lower row and dh is uh, DH, the value of dh can be from 1 to 8 1 means the first column the code is well documented so i guess uh, this will help you in case you have any project or curiosity to go through interfacing of a CD display using 0.86. Uh, thank you everyone.